Hey guys, my name is Josh, and or maybe Graphicism, whatever you want. And today we're going to be making this logo right here. Um, we're not going to go too much into it. I'm going to make another tutorial either today or tomorrow um, how to make these 3D stars. Um, I didn't just take a star off the internet and put it in. There's an actual way you could do it within Cinema 4D. And so you can make it do as much thickness as you want and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, that'll be for next time. All I'm going to do is show you um, everything else. Just to make the video a little bit more faster. Or faster. So let's just, uh, let's just close that, actually. Let's make our first text, which would be DT or Dynasty. And listen, you don't want the depth too much because it's you're, you're actually seeing the whole depth. So let's go about 60. <coughs> also, this tutorial is being made from, uh, I forget your username, but uh, he requested more tutorials. So we're going to try and get some more out there. Um, but uh, you guys got to request some specific tutorials and because uh, a lot easier to do the tutorial than it is to think of one and uh, so if you guys can think of some tutorials that would be great because I can never think of anything to do and I really like making them but uh, like I said I, I just can't think of anything to do so yeah so we're gonna, just going to put it on its side by going to coordinates and making this 270 and bring it up like so and let's just make this I'm using Babylon 5 font it will be in the description but um let's just make the horizontal a little bit smaller so it's a little bit closer like so okay <clears throat> and now that we have that let's just copy and paste let's make this about 40 you guys should all know how to do this already if you don't know how to do it or why I'm doing it, you'll soon see why. So just follow along. Uh, let's put the caps. Let me lower this a little bit. Oops. Like so. And uh, yeah, that's good enough for that. So let's insert another text. And let's make it Dynasty. Make the font um, again Babylon. All right, and let's make it a lot smaller. Okay, and again, let's make it the coordinates two seventy. And let's move it up. Oops, I'm still on the. And let's see, that looks pretty good. Now let's go back to coordinates again and make this one 90. And move it over here. And let's go ahead and. Oops, I don't know why it does that sometimes. And let's make this level. And let's make it a little bit smaller now because it always doesn't fit on it. <clears throat> okay. And let's just drag it over to center it. There you go. Let's copy and paste. And do exactly what we did last time. Lower the depth. Let's put it to about 13. Make some caps. We'll make the cap probably. Just put a 1 there. And leave the whatever numbers after. And let's just drag it down a bit again. Okay. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to put my own signature. So uh, get my name out there. <laughs> and I really strongly suggest this if you're making logos for others because. Um, yeah, it's nice that you can make something, but if you don't have any recognition for it, nobody will ever want you to do their shit. So let's make another one. And I am going to make a Graphicasm. Oh, yeah. Uh, for my signature, I needed all capitals because the font that I use, you need to use cap capitals. The font that I use is Arfmoo Chicken Cheese. 
Um, if you, it's a weird name, but um, it's really good. I like it. If you want it, uh, let me know, and I'll put it in the description. Or I'll just put it in the description anyways. If you don't want it, who cares? <sighs> Let's make it a little bit less depth. Let's make it way smaller. Let's make a different font. So, Arf Move Chicken Cheese. And we're going to keep it sane up. So, give it the 3D effect. Okay. I'm kind of rushing through this because uh, it's when I get, you know, YouTube has that little 15 minute, which is great. I mean, it's way better than 10 minutes, but, uh, I don't know. I don't guys. I don't want you guys sitting there and you know. If I go a little too fast. You guys can easily just pause it or whatever. So it's not like it's a big deal. Now I do believe that uh, I did not put a um, cap on it because let me just check real quick. Let's see here because I I think I remember it being really bad looking. But let's just see if I did. Oh no, I did. Okay, there you go. So I was wrong. Um, so let's go control copy V. Um, pretty, yeah, 10. So I'm going to move this down to about 6. You want about one third of what it was. Put the caps on. Let's not put too big of caps because it's such a small writing. And um, let's just put this in the middle. Okay, like so. And um, yeah, so now through the colors. So we've done all the words. It's looking pretty good, I guess. We're just going a little bit better angle. So yeah, it's looking decent. So now what we want to do is add colors. So I'm just going to do fast colors. I'm not really going to mess with it at all. But usually I will um, edit these a little bit, but, but I like to start from these because this is a great um, thing to start from because they're so already glossy and perfect color and whatever that I want. As my Cinema 4D likes to crash, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'll be back when it starts working again. <clears throat> Okay, we're back, and I'm just going to save this real quick so uh, nothing screws up and I have to redo it, because that was, that's not fun. And if it's ever happened to, to you before, you know that you do not feel like remaking it at all. And it's really slow because I'm recording, and I can't wait for my new computer, whatever that will be. Anyways, okay, so let's get back to it. So I have black, we're going to put a yellow. Um, let's put a glossy yellow and oh my lord I'm just gonna get all the colors and then I'll redo it for you guys I'll unpause <clears throat> okay so I literally restarted cinema 4d so it should be better now but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag these in the colors that I want um, but while I do that I'm gonna talk to you guys about uh, something that we had in mind so we recently just hit 200 subscribers clap 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 and uh, we'd like to have a contest to thank you guys with a slight prize nothing too special I mean yeah but it's, it's still gonna be good trust me but uh, we need some contest ideas and um, something challenging something to do with um, gaming or editing something to do about this channel and go ahead and just uh, Tell us in the comments what kind of contest that you'd like to see, and uh, yeah, and we're gonna do it for 250 subscribers, and yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Hope you guys will enjoy that. Um, but yeah, the prize will be either, and also in the comments, tell us what you want. We were thinking about for one prize to be a um, uh, like Microsoft points or PSN points or anything like that something for Xbox or PlayStation or um, 
our and or maybe first and second place prize who knows yeah i think we'll do that first and second place prize and uh for the other place we will give you a folder full of uh our psds and other saved uh edits like this one for instance um things like that hope you guys that was recommended by the person who recommended me do this tutorial i'm pretty sure um i don't know actually no i don't think that's true but whatever we'll have to be more certain like that before but anyways so let's make this black reflection brightness down texture fresen make the blurriness about four make the luminance Make it a orangey kind of, but like a dark orange. Make the brightness down to about 26. And yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and render that out. Oh, I'm dumb. I always, always, always forget to drop it on here. <clears throat> and, uh,. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not going too in depth into this, but it looks it looks decent. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And again, like I said, put some uh, tutorial ideas in the comments or send us a message because we really would like some. But yeah, anyway, so let's uh, put a quick light here and we'll finish this off. I'm gonna put one spotlight. Rotate this about nine degrees. And lift this up. And what Spotlight does, it just focuses a lot more light onto it. Um, I like it better than just a normal light for this kind of things. And if you want, you can give like a fade on the side, which I'll just show you how it looks real quick. just put it into a rendering position so this would look like something like this oh this was without shadows actually oh that was bad but as you can kind of see what I'm talking about where it fades at the end but I didn't really do it properly um, one sec here I'll do it properly just flip back a little bit more, a little bit more. Let's give it some shadows actually, make it look a little bit nicer. Let's see how that looks. Let's see how long it's been going on. Okay, 13 minutes, gotta hurry up. <laughs> so see how we have the sides here? And then let me just put in one more quick light. Let's put a normal light in for this one. And just on the side, so it gets graphicism up a little bit and it'll light on the, uh, the actual letters itself. If you see here, it would look something like this. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys really help out by giving us some comments and on the things I asked you to. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed again. My name is Josh, and I hope you had a graphicasm. Peace out.